America's greatest strengths is our free market. The thriving private sector is the lifeblood of our economy. It's how we create jobs, expand opportunities, and give everybody a shot at success. The most essential ingredient in a healthy free market is competition. But right now, too many companies are engaging in behaviors that stifle competition. Like one industry that's ripe for change is cable TV. Right now, 99% of cable and satellite TV customers rent set-top boxes from their providers. According to one survey, this cost households an average of more than $230 per year. We spend some $20 billion to rent these devices. While we have almost unlimited choice in what we watch on television, from traditional programming to online content, there's next to no competition to build a better user-friendly product that allows you to easily access all this content in one place. So you heard it from the mouth of one of the greatest leaders to ever serve this country. Cable TV prices are going up. They've created a little monopoly. And we're going to talk about what's going on with the streaming world. If you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop a Life Gains video. What are Life Gains? Improving the quality of your life. Also support me on Patreon. That is a way you can help support YouTubers. And check out my other social media links. And if you are doing the streaming thing, go ahead and get my... IP Vanish link. Let's jump into the video. What's good, YouTube? Wakanda forever. Leave me a comment if you know what I'm talking about. It's the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sexy as hell, host. Today, is it still cheaper to cord cut than to get cable? We're gonna discuss yay or nay, but first, I gotta put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, work on skilling up this craft, giving y'all that better YouTube experience and definitely something better to look at. Shoplifegains.com, read the blog or buy something, simple as that. So there has been some stories coming out nowadays because a lot of your streaming services, your YouTube TVs, your Hulus, your Netflix, they've all gone up about $5. And y'all know we hate that in this in, in this community because a lot of us is used to getting our stuff for free. And the question is, is it still cheaper than cable? Well, the answer is inexplicably yes, because cable has gone up a little more. Let me read you some of what's been going on. Consumer Report posted that cable has gone up. Comcast has gone up an extra $7 on their monthly service. Spectrum has gone up an extra $11 on their monthly service. DirecTV has gone up five more dollars onto something that was already costing you college tuition for your kids. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're staying above ground and you've been paying for Netflix and all that, you've already seen the cost savings that you've saved. You're paying maybe $10, $15 for a streaming service versus a cable package that was already about a C note. And for those of you who don't know what a C note is, $100. Now they're going up by five, 10, 11 more dollars. The key here, the key issue here is that how they usually suck people in is that they'll get you to get that initial deal that they'll give you. You know, you'll get it for like $50. You get everything you want to see for 50 bucks, right? And then after about a year, they tie you into a stupid ass contract and then lock you down and make you pay all this money if you want to get out that contract. So no, you know, and that's not capitalism. I keep telling y'all the whole reason I even start touching the underground streams and all that is because I hate it when people get in front of cameras and tout how they love free market capitalism, but then they use the government, they use contracts to confine you into a small box where you don't have options. Free market is exactly what it says. Free market, meaning that you stick with somebody based on them giving you a good service, and if the service is not good, you leave and go to a better service. And there's competition. That's free market capitalism. And a lot of these cable companies haven't been doing that. And so now, just because a few of the stream services have gone up does not mean that you are losing money. You're still saving money, and if you're underground, you're saving a whole lot of money. And so I just wanted to come over here and let you know that cord cutting is still one of the best ways you can save money in your household. Now the caveat to that is, 
What are you doing with that money that you're saving? Please don't tell me you're being frivolous going out there buying French hookers or Russian hookers or you're blowing it all on cake and cookies because this channel is a life gains channel. We're trying to help you make life gains. We're trying to help you take that money that you're saving, you invest it somewhere so that your money is making money for you and you can sit on your butt and accrue passive income. And if you haven't been doing that, go through some of my videos, you'll see the little bar coming across the screen for Life Gains Financial, invest that money, save it for a rainy day and have that money make money for you so that when you do decide to go get you whatever you wanna go get you, cause there's some hot things out there, you can rest assured that instead of you working your finger to the bone to make that money, your money has made that money for you. And that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Wakanda forever. Please share my content. Let me know what you like on my channel. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.